Alright guys, check it out. We got some new socks and shoes for the Outlander. And I figured um, if I'm going to get tires, might as well get some of the best ones. Or a lot of people have strong opinions about them. Some of the nicest looking slash gnarliest looking ones. So I went with Assassinators 29 and a half by 8 by 14. Got some MSA diesel M12 wheels. They're looking nice. And we're not getting a whole lot of clearance on the fender wells. The fronts look like they're, uh, they're clearing fine. I've seen a lot of people have issues actually clearing these. The back is where I'm mostly concerned though. It's definitely gonna rub there. So I'm gonna have to either get spacers or something to help with that. Or just be like all the Honda guys and let it rub <laughs> until it wears its own little mark there but she's looking rank. She's a big rig. I didn't realize how big 29 and a half would make my bike, but they look sweet and um, definitely can't wait to take it out of the mud. Pretty sick. Just a little update. Good luck, Chris. <laughs> And I painted the sound tubes. Just used a matte black to kind of match the plastics. The rig's looking nice. I think I'll be able to leave it alone until I need a primary clutch or an axle or two. But for now, this is how she's gonna be. Looking rank, pretty much as high as my truck. Well, all right, everyone, this is an update. Just kind of letting you guys know where she's at for this weekend's mud. 